Today is the 11th day of the month, and that means a new Buddy Check 11 breast cancer awareness report. Tonight, we're taking a look at the connection between a woman's breast cancer risk and hormone replacement therapy. As THV 11's Karen Fuller shows us, a lot has changed since a landmark study came out just over two decades ago. Your risk for all cancers increases with age and breast cancer is no exception. Dr. Gwendolyn Bryant Smith oversees the Breast Imaging Center, the UAMS Winthrop P. Rockefeller Cancer Institute. She's familiar with the startling results from a 2002 landmark study by the Women's Health Initiative suggesting older women being treated with hormone replacement therapy were facing a much higher risk of developing an aggressive, fast growing type of breast cancer. Those results were later criticized by many in the medical community for the way the study was conducted, among other concerns. Dr. Bryant Smith says we now know that the commonly prescribed estrogen or estrogen and progesterone therapies are one in a list of breast cancer risk factors. But in isolation, um, you don't need to be fearful of it. It needs to be balanced with your overall life and you need to have a discussion with your provider to decide if that's something you need to do. She says the benefits of hormone replacement can be worth the risk, especially for symptoms that affect a woman's daily life. Are your perimenopausal or postmenopausal symptoms so severe that it's affecting your quality of life? Hot flashes, vaginal dryness, irritability, not sleeping, depression. Everything has to be weighed against a risk benefit profile. Dr. Brian Smith says women should have a risk assessment by the age of 25. Your doctor can do it for you, but the website such as this one called the Tyra Cusick Calculator can empower you to learn on your own. It gives you a number to let you know if you're an average, intermediate, or high risk. As for hormone replacement later in life, she says each woman's health is different, and that's why the more you know about your health in general, the easier it will be for your doctor to guide you. There's not a one-size-fits-all or just a quick answer for a question. Karen Fuller, THV 11 News.